Well, the superintendent of the district is saying that they will help pay for all medical expenses for this student, but the student's mother, Carla Vasquez, says that's news to her. What was supposed to be a fun Earth Day project turned into a frightening one. Um, I'm nervous. According to Carla Vasquez, Skylar Vasquez was pricked on Monday with an unsterilized needle during a school sanctioned event. Now every three months for a year, Skylar will have to have her blood tested. We were, we told that we were gonna sort bottle caps, but they were, there was other kind of small pieces in there. Mm -hmm. And nobody told, the people never told us that. Those other pieces Skylar is referring to are called lancets. Those with diabetes use them to draw blood to test their glucose levels. And the school district says students were sorting through recycled bottle caps, but somehow these lancets were also mixed in. Carla Vasquez, Skylar's mother, is not happy and wants to know why no safety measures were in place. And I didn't receive a permission slip for this. I wasn't made aware that this was happening today. I said, were there any safety precautions? Superintendent Robert Livernoy sent a letter to parents saying an investigation revealed that someone likely had donated several of these Lancet's caps by mistake. I firsthand know why needles end up in the garbage. I'm in long-term recovery myself. I have a blood disorder myself, and I'm willing to admit that openly. I'm not ashamed of that. And according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 99.7% of needle or cut exposures do not result in infection. Vasquez, however, was told the needle was sent out for testing and plans on pulling her daughter out of school. I will pull her out of school. She will not go back to that school next year. Now, Skylar Vasquez was immediately looked at by the school nurse uh, and all the sorting then stopped. And the district also says that they have ended the recycling program for at least for now. Reporting in Sterling Heights, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Yes, yeah, so scary, Peter. Thank you so much for that update.